Everybody. My name is Malika. This is Mr. Malika Market and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a clock out of resin. It's a clock out of resin and Valentine's Day candy because Valentine's Day is on the way. Uh, this is um, inspired by another video. I believe the YouTuber is Crafts and Design. I'll have it on the screen in the description. The video that I was inspired by she did a clock out of candy and resin so I made this about two years ago when I first saw the video but I made it too thick and I didn't have a drill big enough to turn it into an actual clock but since Valentine's Day is on the way I figured why not you know why not make it Valentine's Day themed so I got all the things right for the most part um, I got the pieces from clockit.com and everything uh, Everything is going to be in the description below what I, what materials I use, the steps, everything. And I just think it'll make a great gift. And you can even put like letters on it and, and like a little message like, like, love you long time or something corny like that. <gasps> time for some sugar. Give me some sugar. Sugar, sugar. Because there's, it's a clock with candy. But yeah, so I'm going to do a couple of these Valentine's Day tutorials. Uh, in in leading up to uh, Valentine's Day I have another clock tutorial I have some earrings that I'm doing and a petri dish and a couple other ones it'll go from like the most hardest one the one that'll take the most time to do to you know the one that you can do quick fire last minute all right oh well I hope you enjoy the video all right so I'm using epoxy resin it's one-to-one -one ratio and I'm just filling up my little measuring cups they're shot glasses from the Dollar Tree I'm just filling them up to the top and then I'm pouring them into another bigger container and just mixing them together and that's basically my whole resin tutorial and then after that we're going to fill up our silicone mold I got mine from Aldi this heart shaped one they have it during a uh, Valentine's Day obviously they also have cupcake molds as well but yeah, so I'm just filling it up. I would say mix way more than you think that you need. Maybe not way more, but more than you think you need because I didn't have enough. Uh, so mix more than you think that you need because you can always do another project with them. Maybe like one of those um, Petri dishes with the alcohol ink and everything. You can make one of those with all your extra resin. But yeah, you just make a nice thin layer. And then you're going to pop the bubbles with your heat gun or your lighter. So... I don't, I'm about to go to work, but I don't know if you can see. Just poured this like an hour ago, maybe. And what is that? Empty spot. That's really annoying because I started the project over because my first layer also did that. A little bit worse, but um, I just mixed up some more resin and I'm going to dump it in there and hopefully it actually stays. I don't know if the surface is uneven or what, but yeah. And then I'm going to go to work. <laughs> as far as all the candy that I'm using I have this heart shaped lollipop I have some swirly lollipops I got them in two different colors um, I have some heart sprinkles some XO sprinkles some lip sprinkles and just like these cute little beads that are in Valentine's Day colors whatever and then later on I decided to, to add the sweetheart um, those chalky hearts I'm not sure what they're actually called though. The ones that are absolutely disgusting and should not be given to anybody but have the cute little messages on them. So now comes the fun part of actually putting the candy in your clock. Uh, so what I'm doing is taking one of those heart shaped lollipops and just dunking it straight into my resin. And this is supposed to help uh, with um, 
what is it? Air bubbles. It's supposed to help with air bubbles because that's what Crafter's Delight said. Uh, but I still had air bubbles. But it was mostly with the swirly lollipops, the pink lollipops. Because I took them, you'll see in the video, I took them and I spread the resin over the top first to try and prevent air bubbles. But I still got a couple of them. But it's alright, they're hardly noticeable. And the clock as a whole... The piece is still really good, I think. And then I also added my sprinkles in there. And then I just let that cure for 12 to 10 hours. You also need to pop your air bubbles with a lighter or a heat gun as well with this one. Yes. After I let it cure for another day, I went ahead and just added in a little bit more resin. And here are those sweetheart heart candy disgusting things. And so I poured in a little bit of resin and then just uh, started sticking them all over the place. Wherever I thought they would look nice. And then after that, I just covered it all up with more resin and then let them cure. And now after that last layer is cured, you're going to do one more thin layer, let that cure, and then take it out and dome it. For some reason, I lost the footage of doming it, uh, but it was very, it was very easy, very simple. And I'm about to show you the resin that I used. I had some leftover resin and I just added some glitter into it. And I domed it with that and then let that one cure for 12 to 24 hours, obviously. And so now I'm just drilling it with my dad's drill, but that's my drill bit. Um, I went ahead and bought myself a power drill today just so I don't have to go back home to do it. But yeah, I'm just drilling it until I got a hole through it all the way through it. And now I'm putting the clock piece together. And now I'm just putting everything together with the clock piece and everything. I got mine from clockit.com. Um, I Everything was fine with the website and it got to me in like three days. But I just found out that Hobby Lobby carries this size. I got a three-fourths inch, by the way. And I found out Hobby Lobby carries this size. So I'll probably just get it from there because I can use a coupon for it. So yeah, I mean, this is it for my clock. It takes a AA battery, but I think the one that I have in it is dead because it doesn't move so I'll probably switch that out but yeah after that you're all done you're all done so I hope you guys try this and give it to somebody maybe put on a cute little message or something like that but it was super easy I kind of it was just frustrating and it takes a while you know having to wait for the cures but I think it's worth it I like the way that it looks I would suggest using like an art resin though because this one seems to have already started yellowing. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Yay! Uh, stay tuned for all my other Valentine's Day tutorials and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!